Hi everyone, it's Javiva, and I thought it was about time I did a hair covering, uh, or a head covering if you want to say it, post. Um, especially because I had a couple of people ask questions about the bump. So for starters, the bump. What is the bump? So I never saw them when I was living in the United States. I think you can probably find them there. Um, but here they're fairly popular because one of the in looks, um, especially down here in the gush, is to have that sort of big Nefertiti style um, head covering. So there are two different bumps in this country. One of them is just a little round bump like this. And on the back it has these little elastic things that you can, if you have like a nice big ponytail, you can put your ponytail through it. And it just gives you like a little bit of extra oomph in the back. The one that I prefer using because my ponytail is not so awesome right now, um, is this thing, which my friend Melissa got me um, before I got married. And it's funny because when you put it on, you kind of look like your little house on the prairie or living on a Quaker village or something. <laughs> um, because it, it's got little strings and it looks, it's very much like a bonnet. Um, and then this part here is the poof. Which, um, this one's pretty worn out, I need to get a new one. Um, they are washable, I've washed it before, which adds a little bit of volume to the poof, which is nice. Um, so how does it work? So a lot of women, what they'll do is they'll buy, and I used to have, oh here it is. Um, this is another thing I never saw in the US. They call these wig grips, but also a lot of women use them to keep their um, head coverings from sliding. And it's sort of like a velour material, and it's Velcro, so you can adjust it for convenience. Um, I stopped wearing it when I got pregnant because it was just way too much stuff on my head. So I've seen it done different ways. I've seen women who put this on first, then put the bump on, and then the scarf, or put the, the, the bump on first, followed by this, and then a scarf. Um, some women just use this if they have plenty of bump back here, but you can see I don't really have a whole lot of volume back here. Um, and I'm used to having crazy hair, so I like having the volume. So the bump. Um, so it's like a bonnet. So you basically just put it on over your hair once you have all your hair pulled back. And you don't want to tie it down here like a bonnet, um, but you want to make sure it's even. And I usually, because mine is, is fairly stretched out, I fold it over a little bit on the top to give a little bit of extra boost back here because it'll pull it forward if I fold it up here. Um, and then you tie it around the back. I usually tie it twice. And then you're left with these little strings, and I usually just stuff them up into the, the bump in the back. So this is basically what it looks like. Um, you, you can't really wear it by itself. Some women will put their hair in a ponytail and wear it by itself and like wear it on the airplane because it gives you a nice little pillow <laughs> if you're traveling. Um, but I don't like to have my hair showing in the back, so um, I would never wear it just as is. And also, it's a kind of a funny shape just as is by itself. So how does it stay on? So because you're going to be putting fabric here, it's, and you're going to be tying that fabric, it's going to pull it down a little bit, which will, because of the weight of that, um, it'll make the whole thing just slide back. Um, some people don't have problems with it, and if you use the, the velar thing, it might not slide, um, but I like to be extra careful because I don't want it sliding and disappearing. So I just use basic, you know, regular old bobby pins, and what I usually do is I do one on the side, and also this is different if you, I mean I have bangs, so if you don't have bangs you have a whole lot more hair here to work with that might keep it in place. Um, because I do have bangs I find that um, I don't end up with as much hair up here to work with. So then I'm going to put one over here. And then sometimes just because I'm uber paranoid <laughs> um, and depending upon how much I'm putting up um, I just sort of shove a couple in the back because there's a spot here where um, it sort of comes out a little bit and you could pin it to the hair if you want. 